Okay, let's um, look at tissues. We will not be doing cells for this semester, so we will go to tissues instead. So tissues are collections of cells that work together for a common, you know, toward a common function. Um, there are four types of tissues in our bodies. We have, so types of tissues that we have. One, we have what's called epithelial tissue. Two, connective tissue. Uh, three, muscle tissue. And four, nervous tissue. Those four types. Normally find epithelial tissues found at your surfaces and cavities. So like your skin surface and the cavity linings. So for example, in your mouth, that's ET tissue that you interface with. In your esophagus, all of the lumen of the cap of the organs in your body, those are all made up of ET epithelial tissue at the surfaces and the cavities. Your tissue of connection binds the body to, binds the body together. Things like ligaments and tendons and bones are all forms of CT connected tissue. Muscle tissue move the body. So you're from movement. See? Of course, you have three types of muscle tissue: cardiac, smooth, and skeletal muscle tissue. And the nervous tissue is what allows for perception, perception of the environment, you know, sensing the environment as well as for cognition, thoughts, reasoning, as well as responses to the environment. These are all, so these are, so these are the four types of tissue that we have. ET, CT, MT, and NT, all right? We will look next at epithelial tissue. Your epithelial tissue, ET, epithelial tissue, has some properties that make that make it very useful based on where it's located. Okay, so these properties include some called high cellularity. By this we mean that the cells are tightly packed together. There is no gap between the cells, just tightly packed together. That's ET cell, ET tissue. Just cells tightly packed, prevents things from going between the cells. So high cellularity. You also have what's called polarity, where here we're talking about how the cells have different surfaces. So this is a, say a two, cell ET. Normally the ET is attached to something called a basement membrane here. This is your basement membrane which, which the ET is attached to. And so we define these surfaces. So the part that's exposed to the environment, exposed to the air, the food, this, this surface is called the apical surface, exposed to the environment. The part is attached to the basement membrane. This part is called the basal surface. That's the attached part. And then the part between the cells is the lateral surface. So lateral surface, that's more there to anchor cells together. So you have cellularity, polarity. You have also a little bit more on the basement membrane. There are two layers to it, okay? So this is the basement membrane. And you have the upper layer is called the basal lamina. And the lower layer is called the reticular 
lamina. That's made by the CT. So normally, ET sits on top of CT down here. Your connective tissue down here. Up here is the epithelial tissue. And in between them is a the basement membrane. Okay. Also, another feature of these cells is that they are avascular. Meaning, no blood vessels in ET. That's why you can scratch yourself without bleeding. There aren't any capillaries there to break. Okay? And also, even though it's avascular, it's still innervated. Meaning, it, can, it's, it still has neurons coming there so it can sense things. So it can sense the environment through your epithelial tissue. And it's also highly regenerative, meaning these cells replace themselves very often. You know, if you scratch yourself very quickly, that cell goes back. It's replaced by another cell. So it's, it's called regeneration. And that is a, a useful thing to have at your, at your, your, your surfaces. Because, I mean, if something scratches you, you don't want it all of a sudden going into the body. You want to have it to be quickly repaired. That's called highly, being highly re regenerative, okay? We'll pause there.